So this is step two of how to um, install the software that's you know crucial and functional for the ADS2200. Um, in the earlier video, I talked about how to install the um, the USB to your scanner, and then also the capability of the of the USB cable. So if you have missed that video and you want to see it, you can click click on the link below, and it will take you to that video. So um, if you haven't already, please kindly subscribe. Um, it's absolutely free. You don't need to pay for it. Um, so we can get you more videos. Right, so you can click on the Mac OS support or the downloads um, in, in order to install the software that's needed for the ADS scanner. In this instance, I have clicked the Mac OS support. Also clicked scanner. Which brings me to this page. Um, I'd scroll down and you know look for the ADS um, hyperlink um, or you could use Ctrl F to find the ADS so I click on the ADS it automatically detects the um, operating system like I said in this case it's 10 and 12 so that's that's really good so essentially we're getting the right software for the right operating system and so we hit the OK button and it brings us to the next page and um, where we have the full driver and software package um, ADS has recommended it, so I'll click on that and um, start, you know, downloading and installing, you know, the software. Um, right now, so we've finished downloading. I'll save it to my desktop and start extracting all the all the files so that you know I can get the um, um, the scanner computer interface. Right, so from here onwards, I'd have to click on the um, installation um, ADS installation file. So I'll click on that right now. And that um, launches the installer. So I click on the, the start button and open and select my um, printer, which is the ADS 220 100. And just work through the remainder of the installation process. It's pretty much straightforward. You know, um, I think at some point you need to put in a password, but you know, but that should be absolutely fine. And voila, and there we are, I'm successfully installed. Click OK, um, you know, and try as much as possible to um, work through the setup, just to apply settings, you know, apply the settings in the, in the setup and just to make sure that, you know, there's the right connection between um, the scanner and the um, computer. So I'll click connect. Um, okay, and apply apply settings, and you know, um, my my computer um, would have recognised um, the scanner, but more importantly, um, I'd need to go back to the um, um, brother support, um, which you know essentially um, has the um, the user interface embedded in it. So I'll be clicking on the executable file to um, to extract the um, the interface. Right, so the interface happens to be um, in the Apple Store, so I need to click on. Um, I need to download it from the Apple Store, um, but it's, it's totally free. In Geo, I experienced a couple of glitches while trying to download it, and I think it was because my internet connection was poor. But not to worry, it, it downloaded in the end. So um, from here, hit the open button. Um, okay, um, I think we need to select our machine from here. Select the machine. Click OK, spooling, um, um, machine selected, and there we are. Then I think we um, need to click the scan. Right, well, so we're scanning at, at this point in time, but um, seems to be taking quite a bit of time. Uh, and it's come off with an error. Oh, beautiful. Um, not to worry, so I'd go to the ADF cover, take it off, um, put it back, just to make sure that you know um, it regains functionality put in the um, the server tray or where the you know your bits of e4 papers and you know where the seat and flip it back in um, yeah but this is quite interesting though so for the first attempt it didn't work um, you know um, it makes me think um, right so I've spotted the um, the missing link and I think it's the way in which the um, server tray sits so I'll tilt it a little bit just look at how I move my hands a little bit. Yep, just right there. You need to move the tray um, upwards a little bit. 
um, you know, because, you know, if the paper doesn't sit in the straight properly, it will get jammed. So I can't stress that enough because, um, you know, I've, 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 you know, tested it twice and, you know, it seems to be the same problem. So um, once you install the, the savage tray, make sure you, you tilt it up a little bit. Yeah, you, you feel the, the movement once you do that. Yeah, so I've loaded in my paperwork, my research paperwork, and let's let's hope that um, it scans now. This scan um, button on the um, um, brother support interface, and voila, it's, um, it's scanning through. So I've got a mixture of um, blank paperwork and research paperwork, and um, because the capacity of the of the ADS 2200 is about 50 pages, but I'm, I'll try not to push the um, this scanner to its to its maximum capability. So I put about 33 odd pages. And the the speed is amazing. The trans transfer speed is beautiful. I love it. And you just think about you know how it saves you a lot of time. You know if you're using a flatbed scanner where you need to keep you know flicking the paper back and forth. So I've got literally like um, um, 12 pages here, or, or thereabout. Um, and it's ignored the blank pages, but I, I'm not sure if I scan back and forth. But I think you know the point is it does scan, and I think that's what we need to take take home. Save it. I'll save it to me um, PC um, as a PDF file. Um, yeah, and save it to my desktop so I can you know easily see. It. I don't want to save it to my documents folder. It depends really. You can save it anywhere really, and you can you can name your file whatever you want to name it. I'd name mine um, the test because I'm actually testing the printer to see if it works. And it's, it costs quite a bit of a fortune. And um, if it didn't work, I'd have to return it. But I'm not looking forward to returning it because um, I like, you know, how portable the, the printer is. Although it feels delicate, but, you know, it, it does the job and it's got an amazing speed. So I think I'll be keeping the scanner. Um, yeah. And so that, you know, it's not a printer. It's a scanner. It's a scanner only. Okay. Yep, and so it's currently spooling and, and saving to my desk um, top, and that's absolutely fine for me. It's what I wanted. Um, right, so that's about it, really. Um, don't forget to um, hit on the um, subscribe button. Um, I'd really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, it's absolutely free, like I keep saying. Um, you take care and hopefully catch you up on the third video um, where I would actually be showing you the... Um, the the actual hardware um for the scanner and you know you, you can get onto that video by clicking the the link below um beneath this video all right take care